If we increase the scale by another factor of 100, we start seeing stars that are closest to sun and, and us revolving around the sun. And the star closest to sun is so-called Proxima Centauri. Uh, it is at a distance of 270,000 astronomical units. And again, you see that the distances to even the closest stars are expressed by large numbers if we <coughs> use astronomical unit as uh, uh, <coughs> the yardstick. So that signals that the time has come to change the yardstick again, to use something uh, different to express the distances between the stars. Uh, this image here is the image of Proxima Centauri obtained by Hubble Space Telescope. And uh, this star was recently in the news in 2017 because astronomers discovered that uh, it has a planet revolving around us. And uh, we are discovering over the last several years uh, other stars in our own galaxy with planets revolving around them. And the statistics is such that uh, about one in six stars in our galaxy, and there are 100 billion stars in our galaxy, has uh, a planet or several planets revolving around it. Now, <clears throat> this particular planet, this uh, is at a distance from its star so that <clears throat> It is estimated that actually if there is water on its surface, the water would uh, exist in the liquid form. And the liquid water is essential for the formation of life as we know it. But we still don't know whether there is uh, any water on the planet revolving around Proxima Centauri. Uh, Proxima Centauri is much dimmer than the sun. It's less luminous. Uh, it is also, uh, its surface temperature is lower than that of the sun, roughly half. And as a result of that, it uh, is reddish in color. And it belongs to the group of stars known as red dwarfs. These are the stars uh, less luminous than the sun with the cooler surface temperatures. And probably <clears throat> these stars are much more common than... Uh, stars like uh, our sun. So <clears throat> to express the distances uh, between the stars, we use the new yardstick, light year, which by definition is the distance uh, uh, light travels in one year. And it is equal to just over 63,000 astronomical units. Or if we want to use kilometers, it's about nine and a half trillion kilometers, right? So clearly to express uh, the distances between the stars, astronomical units, and even more so kilometers are two small yardsticks. So the more natural uh, uh, unit of length um, uh, to express the distances between the stars is a light year. And the distance uh, to Proxima Centauri is about four and a quarter light years. <clears throat>